Have you ever wanted to add a class to an element when you scroll down a page, only to find it tricky to implement? If that sounds like you, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to add a class in an element on scroll using React. I totally get it. It can be frustrating when you want to enhance your web application with dynamic effects, but the implementation feels overwhelming. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how do I add a class to an element on scroll in React and remove it when I'm at the top of the page? If you've been wondering the same thing, stick around as we explore this together. So what's the issue here? When you scroll down a web page, you might want to change the appearance of certain elements to enhance user experience. This is a common requirement in modern web applications and understanding how to implement it in React is key. And don't go anywhere. I have a handy tip at the end that will make your scrolling effects even smoother. You won't want to miss it. To begin, the user needs to set up a scroll event listener in their React component. This will allow us to detect when the user scrolls the page. Next, the user should define the handle scroll function. This function will check the scroll position and update the component's state accordingly. Now, the user can use the component's state to conditionally apply a class to the header element. This will change its appearance based on the scroll position. Finally, the user should ensure that the CSS styles for the new class are defined. This will allow for visual changes when the class is applied. Fun fact! Did you know that the first web pages were just static text? Now we can create dynamic experiences with just a few lines of code. How cool is that? Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves using React hooks for managing scroll events. They suggest using the useState hook to track whether the scroll value exceeds the height of the header. In their implementation, they set up an effect with use effect to handle the scroll event. This includes adding an event listener and cleaning it up to prevent memory leaks. Finally, they suggest using a ternary operator to conditionally apply classes based on the scroll state. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution provided by a user involves using React hooks. They suggest using the useState and useEffect hooks to manage the scroll state. The useEffect hook adds an event listener for the scroll event, updating the scroll state based on the vertical scroll position. In the return statement, the header class changes based on the scroll state. If the user has scrolled down more than 10 pixels, the class scrolled is added to the header. Here's that handy tip I promised. Consider using the request animation frame method for smoother scrolling effects. This can help improve performance and make your transitions look great. And there you have it. You now know how to add and remove classes on scroll in React. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and keep experimenting with your React projects.